Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Laser Gaming. Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys three awesome glitches and tricks currently working on GTA 5 online. And as always, these three glitches are very different from one another. So if you guys do want to see more compilations like this in the future, do be sure to leave a like down below. And also, if you guys are new around here, feel free to subscribe as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so getting into the first glitch in this video and this has got to be one of the best glitches I've seen in this game in a long time and that is basically how you guys can drive burned out cars as you guys can see on screen. This is no illusion. This is a legit thing now in GTA 5. Okay, so to do this glitch, you will need one other friend. So if you guys don't have that many friends that play GTA 5 online, do be sure to leave a comment down below if your console and your game attack, and I'm pretty sure you guys will be able to find someone very quickly. Now, once you guys have got a friend, one of you want to set up a VIP organization and then hire the other person to become your bodyguard. Now, once you guys have got a bodyguard and you're in a VIP organization, this works in an invite-only session or a public session. It doesn't make a difference. You want to pull up your Securo serve interaction menu, and you want to make sure that you've got friendly fire turned off so you can't kill each other. Now, from here you guys just want to find any npc parked up vehicle this works with any car in the game this is a great thing as long as it's an npc car now you must make sure the car is locked most cars in the game usually are locked that parked up and what i mean by this is so when you guys go to rob the car you're gonna to have to smash the window and do a little animation as if you're jacking the car so before you guys go to jack the car get your friend to put a sticky bomb on the car and as you guys can see i'm going to slow this down slightly your character will go to make the animation to rob it and as soon as you get into the car you want to tell your friend to blow the car up and as soon as he blows the car car up you guys will notice if done correctly bang you're able to drive it as if it's one of your own cars i can't emphasize how easy this is i actually had a 100 percent success rate didn't fail doing this once managed to do it like four or five times back to back i would suggest maybe trying this out at one of the car parks near the airport because i done it near here and there is literally a shit ton of cars and all of them are practically locked so you can always keep trying it out if you guys have no success doing this even though i guarantee all of you guys are able to do this straight away and as you guys can see it just looks crazy You're driving a burnt out car on fire as if it was one of your own cars now like i said if you do this at the car park i managed to land some insane stunt as you guys are about to see i'll go through the steps quickly once again get your bodyguard to put a sticky bomb on the car go to rob a car as long as it's locked as soon as you guys make the animation get into the car get your friend to blow it up in my case we ended up going over the edge of the car park landed it like a boss and took off now I was actually recording this during the Rockstar editor and as you guys can see my wheels are on flames and it just looks insane so I'm actually going to go back and play around with the Rockstar editor and try to put together like some cool GTA cinematic for you guys hopefully it comes out decent I'll be looking forward to the feedback but nonetheless I do know a lot of you guys are big on the GTA photography scene that watch me and like to put together some insane snapmatic pictures so this glitch does give you guys a whole bunch of potential just to mess around with some friends like I said it works in a public session so if you guys are driving this down the road everyone will be able to see you driving down the road with a burnt out car and just think what the fuck is going on here <laughs> especially if you guys turn up into like a car meet with a burned out vehicle i guarantee you'll get heads turning and probably be the first person in history to turn up to a car meet with a burnt out car that is still fully functional now you do get different results every time you do this glitch with how long it lasts sometimes you get a full minute sometimes you get 30 seconds my friend managed to get like a full-blown five minutes but he said he wasn't fully accelerating the car so that may be a little trick to make it last longer it's just not fully hold down acceleration to the max now once more just to prove to you guys that this glitch is so easy to do the third time trying it out the third time we managed to do it successfully my friend comes over whacks a sticky on the car as soon as i get in he blows it up and now i'm able to drive it as easy as that for such an awesome and sick car glitch i'm actually surprised how easy it is now as you guys can see sometimes your, your tires will pop straight away and sometimes they won't like i'm literally hitting good speeds here for a burnt out car on fire and if you guys are paying attention to my life in the bottom left even though your car's on fire it doesn't take away any of your health so it really is the perfect glitch whether you guys want to troll some friends put together some sick snap mac pictures some rockstar editor movies or just have fun online nonetheless moving straight into the second glitch in this video and i know you guys love a clothing glitch so i thought it's only right i include one and one outfit that i have had literally tons of requests from in the last few weeks is an outfit that i actually showcased about a month ago how to get and that's the policeman outfit However, Rockstar Games slightly patched that method that I showed you guys. So I thought I'd include this as like an updated version because I know a lot of you guys still want this outfit. 
Okay, so the very first thing you guys want to do is pull up your interaction menu and register as a CEO. If you guys don't know how to do this, pull up your interaction menu, go to SecuroServe, register as CEO. It's simple as that. Okay, now once you guys are a CEO, you want to pull up your interaction menu again. You want to go down to management, you want to go down to style, and you want to flick the CEO style once to the left so you're now wearing the demon outfit as you guys can see on screen. Now once you guys have got the demon outfit on, back out of your interaction menu and then from here you want to press start you want to go across to online you want to go down to playlists and you want to go to create playlist just like i explained to you guys in my money making method a few days ago now once you guys go to create a playlist you want to go all the way down to add mission and you want to flick down right to the bottom and you want to add the mission called truck off and as you guys can see it's going to require a minimum of two players so definitely be sure to leave a comment section down below if your psn or your gamer tags and help each other out now once you guys have added truck off to a playlist simply name it anything like laser gaming outfit or in my case as you guys can see i end up calling it copper nonetheless so once you guys have created your playlist you simply just want to go back up to one playlist and start my playlist and you should see your playlist right there go ahead and launch your playlist now once you guys are in this part of the menu it's very important you go down to clothing and you have it on classic don't put it on themed it has to be on classic if you guys do want to get the cop or the policeman outfit i must add that this also does work with female characters nonetheless from here just invite one of your friends into the game and go ahead and launch it up okay now once you guys reach this point in the menu you want to go down to versus outfit and you want to find justice that's where the cop outfit is going to be so quickly go down and flick over to justice and then ready up okay now once the game starts the first thing you guys want to do is move straight off the road over near these crates so you don't get run over and it fucks up the whole mission now from here pull up your interaction menu go down to spawn location and make sure you have it on any apartment any garage or any maze bank office that you own don't have it on last location and once you guys have checked that pull up your interaction menu again and just like the old method of saving this what you want to do from here is go down to style and then go down to helmet visor and then flick this right or left on your d-pad not your analog stick on your d-pad for about 20 to 30 seconds now unlike the old method this isn't the end of the glitch you're not going to spawn back in with the cop outfit you still have to take a few more steps from here so like i said spam this for about 20 to 30 seconds now here's where things are a bit different depending on what console you're on if you guys are on ps4 you can simply do what i'm doing on screen as well on the xbox one and just keep on spamming this and then leave it to go afk so you get kicked from the game however as i said if you guys are on ps4 you can actually speed this process process up slightly after you've spammed the helmet visor to the right on the d-pad for about 20 to 30 seconds what you can do is start up a different application by pressing the playstation button like netflix or youtube what that will basically do is suspend your gta 5 game or in other words kicking you from the game so when you go back into the game you can spam x on your playstation to get back into a free roam session and then from there you guys will just have to wait a few seconds until i catch up with you in this video as i play on xbox one so if you guys are on xbox one and pc like my myself then what you have to do is simply just leave your control pad go afk and then get kicked from the game so tell your friend not to kill you not to do anything near you try to bump into you nonetheless for the sake of the video and saving you guys time i'm going to fast forward this part by eight times so as you guys can see your camera will move around by itself you will get prompted in the bottom left with a little message as you guys can see time remaining before you're kicked you do want to pay attention to your screen when this is also happening so when you guys get kicked if you guys are on the playstation spam down x on the playstation station as much as you can or as quick as you can and if you guys are on xbox press down a as quick as you can or as much as you can and also if you guys are on pc whatever button you have to run fast in game or ready up just spam that button as much as you can or as quick as you can now what you guys should know is you might spawn back into the game and you might be getting out of your bed or in the shower this won't affect the glitch whatsoever however what you guys should know is that we'll still be wearing the outfit that we set on our character before we started truck off which is the demon secure serve so what you want to do is simply like yesterday's video pull up your interaction menu again and then simply go down to management go down to style and flick once to the right so you're now wearing no secure reserve outfit and then bang as you guys can see just like yesterday's video your character will have the cop outfit or the police outfit however we are not done from here if you guys go ahead and save this as an outfit once you die this outfit will disappear so what you have to do from here is go ahead save it as an outfit 
in my case i call it laser as you guys can see now once you guys have saved it as an outfit to keep this outfit all you have to do is simply either change the trousers or simply put gloves on your character if you guys aren't aware rockstar games have actually blacklisted this outfit so the game will automatically recognize you as wearing the cop outfit now the greatest thing about this glitch is the cop outfit as far as the bottom half it's very very basic and plain and you can actually buy a bunch of like plain black suit trousers which are practically identical to the cop outfit however what i would suggest doing is just coming out some crazy random mix because as you guys can see there's a bunch of trousers which in my personal opinion look much better than the ones you get with the original outfit and like i said if you guys do want to recreate the original outfit then simply go down to suit trousers in the clothing store and then just look through them there's a bunch of trousers that look like the original ones but me personally i don't own those basic plain trousers as you guys can clearly see on screen <laughs> i've only got a bunch of colorful crazy looking trousers but the fact that we can mix and match the trousers and we will keep our police belt you guys are practically losing out on nothing and like i did mention you can also just go down to accessories and add some gloves to your character just edit the outfit in any way shape or form i wouldn't change the top or the hat because they're the most exclusive parts of this outfit but like i said change the gloves change the trousers you guys will be able to find the new session die as many times as you want and you will always have this outfit saved and i'm going to quickly prove this to you guys as you guys can see on screen i press start find the new session and then bang my character is still wearing the cop outfit so hopefully you guys do appreciate me updating you as quick as i can with this new method nonetheless moving into the third and final glitch in this video and the day doesn't go by without you guys asking me do i know any wall breach is still working after the latest patch is 1.37 so i thought i'd go ahead and show you guys an awesome wall breach if you guys aren't aware i have covered tons of different wall breaches in gta 5 already including leicester's factory the iaa building the fib building michael's mansion trevor's torture chamber and going off the feedback it seems like you guys always seem to really enjoy these videos as they're a great way just to troll some of your friends or go and explore new areas Okay, so before I get into this video, I am aware that not all of you guys can watch all of my videos. So if you guys do want a link to any of the war breaches that I mentioned in the intro, whether it be the FIB building, Michael's mansion, Franklin's mansion, just leave a comment down below. Let me know what war breach you want to know and I'll link you straight to the video. Or even leave a comment with any building that you know from story mode that may be a pretty detailed that you want me to get into in the future and I'll be sure to look into it. However, nonetheless, this video right here, as you guys can see, this war breach is located at an extremely popular location, as you guys can see see it's slap bang in the middle of rockford hills right next to all of the shops you've got this cinema right here which i'm looking into you've got the cloven store which i'm actually standing on top of it's a two second drive from the golf course but most importantly it's located right next to a shit ton of apartments the eclipse tower the del piero apartments even all the stilt mansions which recently came out is literally only a five minute drive from this location okay so as you guys can see on screen this is the location of the wall bridge that you want to head to to get inside of it as i mentioned earlier it's an extremely popular location Another great thing about this wall breach is it's a solo method. It doesn't require any friends. All you guys want to do is simply get a big car or like a 4x4 truck that you can see on screen right now and simply park it up at the side of this clothing store. Now from here, get on top of the truck and then simply jump on top of the clothing store. Now from here, you don't want to walk too far ahead. You want to pull out a gun, aim towards your right side and you want to jump up on top of another layer. So this wall breach, you can explore around these shops a shit ton as it is multi-layered. But as you guys can see, once you get on the second layer you will kind of just drop onto a flat surface now if you guys are looking to use this wall breach to troll your friends that maybe use it like a god mode invincibility wall breach it is possible to do so like i said you are actually standing on top of a clothing store so all you guys have to simply do is shoot like a noob tube underneath you or start spraying a few bullets basically what that will do is close down the clothing store so none of your friends will be able to get near you by going underneath into the clothing store and pulling out a gun if you guys aren't aware the only way you really get killed in wall breach are by ricochets from like rpgs or sticky bombs and i did spend a good half an hour 40 minutes in this wall breach testing it out fully and because you guys are a good five to ten meters away from any walls no rpgs whatsoever will kill you the only way you're probably going to die in here is by killing yourself but as i mentioned earlier because it's so easy to get into this wall breach it doesn't even make a difference if you kill yourself just make your way back to the location jump on the car as you guys can see on screen jump back on top of the clothing store move to the right and bang you guys have 
back in the wall breach. So definitely use it to have fun with your friends online. Don't go ahead abusing it online because then you'll just get players reporting you. Just mess around with your friends, play like hide and seek, see if they can come and find you. I guarantee they won't be able to. Nonetheless, that is going to do it for me, guys. A brand new secret wall breach glitch working after all the latest patches. If you guys have enjoyed this video, all I ask is you drop a cheeky like down below. Feel free to subscribe if you're new as I post daily GTA 5 videos. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in my next video.